guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at solving addition and subtraction equations, which you've done before, but now we're throwing a new variable at you. I'm putting um, uh, fractions in there, okay? So now we have to remember not only our rules for um, solving equations, which you're looking at and you're like, Miss Bro, I'm so sick of seeing those two rules. I know them. Ah, well, you're going to see them in the next two videos too. Have fun. Um, you know your two rules by now. Keep it balanced. Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. The equal sign is your balance. Um, and you're trying to isolate the variable. You want to get that variable by itself, then we know what it's equal to. The other note I've given us down here is just our reminder. We're dealing with fractions. And remember that when we're adding or we're subtracting fractions, we need to um, have a common denominator. All right? So when we're undoing, we're going to have to make sure that we have a common denominator before we try to add and subtract them. So we're going to take a look at a few, uh, a few examples here. Now, if you want, you could rewrite it first with your, um, with your common denominator, or you could do that after you change it, um, after you try to solve it. I'm going to rewrite it just so that everything has the same denominator first. So here I notice I have one half and three quarters. I'm going to rewrite this so that everything is in fourths. So now when I try to solve it, it's nice and easy. So one half becomes two fourths. Again, um, if you've forgotten how to do that, you can rewatch the old videos where I talk about that. Okay, now you'll notice that the operation that's happening to my variable is addition, so we want to use the inverse operation. So I'm going to subtract two fourths from both sides. So on this side, I'm left with x. Three, quarter, uh, three quarters minus a two fourths leaves me with one fourth. So my answer is one fourth. It's in its simplest form. We don't need to reduce it. All right. Over here, you'll notice I'm adding a negative number. Uh, well, first, let's first let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's rewrite it so that everything's got a common denominator. I notice there's a four and an eight, so eight's going to be my common denominator. One fourth and eight becomes two eighths. Now I'm going to go about solving it. So first thing we want to do, just rewrite it, is an equivalent fraction. Uh, I'm adding, so I want to subtract. However, pay attention, I'm subtracting a negative number. Now remember, when we subtract a negative, how do we do that? Well, we add the additive inverse. So it's the same as adding 5 eighths. So I'm going to add 5 eighths over here. I wind up with y on this side. Over here, I wind up with 7 eighths y is equal to 7 eighths. And this is a place where you would want to go back and check. Um, use your calculators to check. That's fine. Um, but you can always plug it back in, make sure that you're correct. I've been skipping that step, and I apologize. Um, but you can always plug your number back in up here on quizzes and tests to make sure that you're correct. All right, over here, you'll notice my variables on the other side. Some kids, that really bothers. Don't let it get to you. It's okay if you don't like your variable on that side. Rewrite it so that it's on the other side. It doesn't matter. They're equal, so you can flip the sides that they're on as long as you take everything on one side and flip it over. So I'll rewrite it that way for you guys, and I'm going to rewrite this also with its uh, equivalent fractions. I have a 2 and a 5, which means 10 is going to be my common denominator. So here you'll notice I just took my m minus 3 fifths, and I put it on the other side to so the variables on the left. Some kids like it better there. Makes no difference to me. 3 fifths becomes 6 tenths. 1 half becomes 5 tenths. Now you'll notice um, I have a subtraction equation here, so I'm going to undo my subtraction by adding. I'm going to add 6 tenths to both sides. Over here, I've been left with m, so I've isolated my variable. When I add these together, I get 11 tenths. You can rewrite it if you want, or you can leave it in its improper form, because like I said, we're going to be talking about uh, proportions and ratios where um, we don't want to try to convert that. I don't want to confuse you. So 11 tenths or 1 and 1 tenths, however you want to say it. All right. So again here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it first with my common denominator. I see a 2 and a 4, so I'm going to make everything into fourths. And this looks very similar to my first one. The only difference is I was adding here, now I'm subtracting. So how am I going to undo my subtraction? I'm going to add. When this happens, I wind up with x is equal to, sorry, okay, so it would really help if I wrote my numbers right, the 4. Sorry, I wrote the 5 because I was trying to do the adding already. Sometimes when I'm trying to talk and write, I get ahead of myself. So uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, so 5 fourths. If you want to rewrite it as 1 and 1 fourth, that's fine, or you can leave it as 5 fourths, that's fine too. All right. 
couple more here. We'll look at. All right, here I have a subtraction equation. You'll notice I'm subtracting a negative. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to rewrite that by adding the additive inverse, all right? So now I basically just have x plus 3 tenths is equal to 3 fifths, which I'm going to rewrite as tenths because I want to have a common denominator, so 6 tenths. All right, so all we want to do is rewrite our common denominators just to make it easier on ourselves. Now I have an addition uh, equation, so I'm going to undo that by subtracting. Over here I'm left with x. We've isolated it. 6 tenths minus 3 tenths is 3 tenths. All right, and again, we can go back and plug that in to make sure that we're right. Over here, again, our variable's on the other side. Don't let that throw you off. I'm still going to rewrite this so that I have common denominators. My common denominator here would be an 8. So 7 and 1 fourth becomes 7 and 2 eighths. I'm doing addition, so to undo my addition, I want to subtract. Over here, I'm left with x. 3 uh, eighths minus 2 eighths leaves me with 1 eighth. 13 minus 7 gives me 6. So x is equal to 6 and 1 eighth. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can uh, rewatch the video. Also, feel free to go back and rewatch some of the other videos, the old ones that go over um, adding and subtracting fractions as well as solving equations if you need to. Um, if you have questions, you can post them in the comment box. Uh, you can email me, and I will get to those in class tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.